it's at my absolute pleasure to give you all a sneak peek um, in the library before we officially open on Thursday. So our revitalized downtown library has so much to offer and we've got our multi-story simulation wall behind me. Uh, we've got the Sh Shelley Milner Children's Library that's three times as large as its previous iteration. And we've got Thunderbird House, which is an indigenous gathering space. And we've got a makerspace and a fab lab full of the latest technology and equipment to foster creativity and making. The Milner Library will continue our history of innovating, completely redefining how our city interacts and views their public library. So we anticipate that Edmontonians will be pleasantly surprised and delighted uh, when they encounter the incredible space that's packed full of learning opportunities and fun. And we look forward to it quickly resuming its role as a vital community hub that it has always been with over 1.2 million visits each year. Once people come inside and see the natural light and uh, experience and discover all the amazing services, they will be mesmerized. Um, we'll have capacity limits just like we do across the system that um, dictate how many people can be in the space, so we'll be monitoring that. Um, we won't be offering as many high-touch programs like our early literacy sing, sign, laugh and learn, um, which is not um, actually is prohibited by public health orders. So there are some things that people won't be able to experience that they did in the past. However, we are doing a ton of virtual and online programs that have had tremendous uptake. So, I mean, we're trying again to be innovative and provide the services in different ways to meet people's needs. I think this has been designed for longevity and sustainability, so I'm very confident that this is a long lasting building. We hope to see it last another 50 years like its predecessor.